Hey everybody, thanks for tuning back into OTRAM's YouTube channel. Um, today, I figured I'd show you how we refill cooling systems. I know when I've done like timing belts, head gaskets, other repairs, I've always skipped over how we actually refill them. And we actually do a few more steps than normal just to make sure we don't have any problems down the road. Um, so I just did timing belt on this 100 series with the 4.7. So the the first thing that I'm going to do is pressure test the cooling system just to make sure that I don't have any leaks before I fill it back up. So I'm going to put my adapter on the radiator cap and then normally you would use a hand pump like this which takes forever and it happens that the maker of the pressure tester kit we've got makes an air adapter, which makes this way nicer. So with it, you just hook it up to compressed air and slowly dial up the cap pressure. And then you can lock the pressure off on the radiator to make sure the needle doesn't drop. I already did this one ahead of time so that I wouldn't be crawling around on the engine looking for leaks on camera. But it's, you don't need to go out and buy a pressure tester kit when you want to refill your coolant, but it sure makes life easier to find the leaks before you put coolant in and have to drain it all back out again. We can unhook that. And then this next step is also optional, but we vacuum bleed them because it makes them fill faster and it helps with getting the initial bubbles out. So we're gonna take our vacuum bleeder, hook it up to the same adapter, and then it's off camera, but I've got a five gallon bucket of coolant already mixed up down below. We're gonna take our air hose and hook it on there. And we're gonna start pulling vacuum. And then we're gonna let just enough coolant in to fill the lower hose. Let it keep building. And then we can shut it off and you can also use this as a leak test. If this needle drops and it doesn't hold vacuum, then you know you've got a leak. But now, we can undo our airline and we can open up the feed hose that's coming out of my bucket. And we'll let that fill until we run out of vacuum and then we'll know we've drawn in as much coolant as we can get. And this usually takes a couple minutes. Okay, so then when it's done, um, you can just open this valve back up and that'll break the vacuum. And you can pull this adapter off. And then we'll take this cap adapter off. Um, the vacuum filler, it touts itself as being able to completely fill these without having any air pockets in them. I've never seen that actually happen. So we also uh, put one of these spill-free funnel burp funnels on and finish doing it that way. Um, and if you, like realistically, you could just start with this step. Um, and you just put the coolant in and as you can see we are not completely full. The nice thing about these is they move the high spot in the cooling system up so all your air 
works up to here as the engine's running. And you don't want to fill this too full because as you run the engine and it starts to warm up, this is going to rise a little bit before it drops back down. Um, and you can end up overflowing it and making a big mess. Okay, so now we've stopped bubbling, so I can go start the truck. running I've got the temperature set to full hot on the climate so that my valves open and we're circulating through the heater core and then sometimes squeezing the upper radiator hose will help work coolant through uh, but basically we're just gonna run the engine until it comes up to operating temperature and the thermostat opens and then we're gonna you know, rev it to like 2,000 RPM until we don't see any more bubbles in here. Um, and then once, once you don't see any more bubbles, I usually let it you know, run for a little bit longer and then I'll shut the engine off and I'll let it completely cool back down to you know, ambient temperature with this funnel on it and then you'll have sucked down to this being, the radiator being full, and then you can just top off your, uh, your overflow tank. But that's how we go through uh, filling up cooling systems to make absolutely sure that we have as little chance as possible of having air pockets and bubbles left in there when these leave. Um, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Uh, thanks for tuning in. If you like what we're doing, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.